Hi, and welcome to Data Center Fundamental Series. In this series, I'm going to give an introduction to data center concept, components, and other related design and operational factors. Hope you enjoy this series and find it informative. As you can see in our agenda for this episode, we're going to define the data center and get to know its standard components and take a look at its important operational factors. According to Gartner, the data center is the department in an enterprise that houses and maintains back-end IT systems and data stores. The data center components here include, first, the facility of the data center, such as its location, total space, and physical access to the data center. Second, the IT infrastructure, like servers, communication, and storage equipment. Third, the electrical equipment such as backup generator, UPS, ATS, and PDUs. We're going to explain each of these acronyms later in details. Fourth, the mechanical infrastructure deals with the cooling system like crack units and its associated uh, chiller plants. Fifth, the environmental sensors such as temperature and humidity. Facility components are very important when we talk about data center, and they include the following areas. First, the physical location. The data center can be separate facility by itself, or it can be within the same building. For the physical space, the, edited, the, I, the data room space houses the IT equipment. The mechanical electrical space houses the cooling and electrical panels and UPS and its batteries. The NOC space is allocated outside the data center for operators to monitor the data center activities. Staging area space used to unpack the new IT equipment before deploying it into the data center. The data room, which hosts the IT equipment installed in the, in the rack or, or, or cabinets, and the crack units required to cool down those IT equipment. Finally, physical space or the physical access to the data center, like access control to data center, surveillance, uh, uh, for example, as example, uh, CCTV. The IT inst infrastructure has to do with the following important areas. IT servers, of course. Second is the communication equipment, such as core switch or router. Uh, ISP equipment to link your data center to the outside world, and patch panels to connect IT equipment together. Storage equipment are either SAN to present a shared pool of storage devices to multiple servers. The NAS is specialized for serving files either by its hardware, software, or configuration. And finally, the environmental sensors, which are basically smoke and water detection sensors, and temperature and humidity ones. The electric equipment deal with the all power uh, related devices such as first the backup generator which can be a prime power to provide unlimited number of hours and the standby type which has limitation in the number of hours throughout the year. Second, the ATS which is used to transfer the load in case of city power failure. The UPS used to feed the data center with power in case of city power goes out. And finally, the PDUs, which are used to supply power to IT equipment. The mechanical part of the data center is meant for the following. First, the cooling containment, such as cold or hot oil containment types to provide physical separation of hot and cold aisles using blanking panels. Second is the crack unit to supply the data center with cold air. Third, the chiller, chiller plants usually located on top of the building to support crack units. And finally, more, and more importantly, is the race floor, which allows cold air to reach out to all your IT equipment. Finally, you should pay attention to the following environmental factors such as first temperature value range from 20 to 24 Celsius, humidity percentage range which should be 
between 40 to 60 percent. Recently, PUE ratio has become an important measure for data power efficiency as it measures the total power consumed by the facility to the total power delivered to the data room. And finally, DCIE, which can be calculated to measure the efficiency, uh, the energy efficiency of the data center. In this table, you can see the industry standard levels for those factors, and the aim here is to be as efficient as possible. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.